everybody. This is fantastic. And um, my name is Webster Walker, and I live in Seattle, Washington. I rode the Amtrak train out here. It took three days. Um, <laughs> it's a good way for me to just like let everything settle down. <laughs> Get ready for more engaged moments like this. Um, so I am with an organization called Slice. And I'm sorry we don't have our handouts, but they will be available later today, so you can pick them up at the registration table. Um, we've been around, we're in our fourth year now, uh, although the thing is, is that actually, I'm kind of used to saying this now, Slice doesn't really exist, um, which is a little bit of a surprise to all the people who have attended our conferences. Basically what we've been is a group of people who get together and think a lot together and talk a lot together and organize co-op conferences in our part of the country. Uh, we've had a conference in 2009, 2010, 2011 this year in conjunction with the NCBA coming to Seattle and a regional food co-ops, food systems co-op conference being organized the same week. Slice is organizing a regional reception kind of in between those two conferences to try to bring everybody together. Just have a great time, a little less organizational work on our part. Um, but aside from that, um, mostly Slice was started by people who work at, if you look at my badge, it says Central Co-op. I work at a consumer food co-op in Seattle. So I'm not actually a worker at a worker co-op. Uh, but one of the intentions of Slice is to bring all the different sectors together. Uh, but there's been pretty much a reorganization of our organizing team this year. And we've got representatives on the Slice organizing team from Consumer Food Co-op, uh, from Equal Exchange Worker Co-op, from Seattle Metropolitan Credit Union Financial Co-op, uh, from the Northwest Cooperative Development Center, our regional co-op development center, and from a couple of nonprofits, including a foundation uh, where people are looking for ways to put money into the cooperative economy. We've got a couple of investors at the table who are trying to figure that out. Um, so that's all pretty exciting. Um, and we're looking at probably at our meeting next month, once we hammer out all the logistics for the reception this month, uh, actually convening a steering committee to look at how we're going to formalize our existence, whether through incorporation or forming an association or a nonprofit or a co-op or whatever it is that we're going to do. But we have done some other work besides just uh, organize these conferences. At the second conference, we convened a group of 25 people at what we call the Slice Roundtable people who are interested in starting a new regional cooperative development fund because one of the issues that keeps coming up is access to capital um, you know without having to go to the bank without having to rely on grants um, and one of the keys that we're looking at is we want the money to come from the co-op sector so we're looking at how to set up a fund that would be fed by co-ops in our region who commit as co-ops <coughs> under principle six, cooperation among cooperatives, to put a slice of their money into this regional development fund that then would be used to develop new co-ops. Of course, that's a lot of work to start a new financial institution. And uh, uh, one of the keys for me personally is that I've got this fat job at my local food co-op and it keeps eating my life. So one of the things I'm going to be doing on the train on the way home is trying to work up my courage to just step out of that safety nest into this regional co-op development work that I find way more interesting and exciting, but at this point isn't going to pay me a cent. But um, anyway, I think Adam is completely right that we want this work to be by co-ops and for co-ops. Um, so. One of the things that we did, um, I mean, we brought in a bunch of people from existing funds that have already been up and in operation to talk to us about what it takes and what they've done. Um, people from the Twin Pines and from um, uh, Margaret Lund was there who worked with uh, North Country Fund for a long time, David Smithers more. 
Um, so we did a, a regional cooperative survey. We identified all the co-ops in our region, drafted this survey, sent it out to everybody. It was pretty comprehensive, um, probably a little daunting, about 40 questions. Uh, but we got over 130 responses, and several of the questions were specifically about uh, willing the interest in and willingness to participate in this kind of fund. And we were surprised at the high positive response that we got. So I'm pretty sure if we actually go home and do the work and set it up, that we're going to get something, we're going to get buy-in. Um, so we're talking about forming a steering committee and actually incorporating and getting this stuff going. Um, one of the things, one of the other things that I want to do specifically, how many minutes do I have left? Oh, I've got, I've got no time left. Time flies. Um, there are currently two groups of people in discussion uh, that I'm talking to about starting new worker co-ops in Seattle. Uh, one talking about starting uh, landscaping, yard maintenance, uh, co-op. Standard kind of a concept that it's low barrier to entry, um, low capitalization, uh, instant income, uh, similar kind of rationale to the, the um, house cleaning stuff or the, uh, the other one. Anyway, that sort of rationale. And then there's some people talking about setting up a, a workshop to do uh, machining, welding, that sort of thing. Um, crazy bicycle projects. One interesting thing is that there aren't a lot of worker co-ops in our region. Uh, there was a bakery there for many years. Tragically, they went out of business about four years ago um, without really reaching out to the community ahead of time after having been in business for about 30 years. So I'm not really sure if they could have been saved. Uh, but we need some more worker co-ops. Uh, you know, we've got, we've got equal exchanges retail outlet in one of the neighborhoods in Seattle. They've got a cafe there. So Allison Booth is one of the people on the Slice organizing team right now. Uh, but we need to get some more focus on developing worker co-ops in our region. And I'm going to stop there. Sorry I'm not more comprehensive and organized. <laughs> but uh, this is how it is. <laughs>